right guys just real quick video i want to show the hpi vorza buggy and the hpi vorza truggy i'm glad that hpi did this it's been i really wanted them to do this and i'm glad they came out with this so there are a slight difference these are the non s versions so they do have three versions of these they do have this version i have here they have the s version they also have the nitro version as well and of course this is the non s version which I'm going to be fine with that. Um, I'm happy that HPI came out with these and these things do have some, they have some really nice looking bodies on them. They really do. So just taking these off, of course, the Truggy's going to have a longer wheelbase and be a lot wider than the buggy is. Um, other differences you guys are going to have to know or be realized I want to at least make you known of is and see how that suspension and this definitely got to, definitely got to do some work with that um, before I can take this out and really run it. Um, is that this comes with adjustable turnbuckles and this one does not. So I believe the original HPI but, but, uh, Vorza Buggy did come with adjustable turnbuckles so I can pick up a set probably from Dollar Hobbies or something, which is not going to be a big ordeal. So we'll see how strong these are. I think it should be fine, but I may just pick a set up just in case they go ahead and break. Now I did go ahead and at least upgrade the servo in here and the next thing I'm going to do is change out definitely the shock wall because those are, that's just or whoever's doing HPI shocks nowadays, they need to, they they need to, I don't know, <laughs> look at what they're doing. Their R&D department needs to take a look at that. But other than that, I mean, you guys see the differences, of course, in the wheelbase of the two, and they both have uh, the 2200 kV motor in it with um, 150 amp speed controller. I did go ahead and change this one out to um, EC5 connectors, and I'm gonna end up changing this one out too. Cause I'm not going to run these with no jeans connectors on there, but I at least want to show these to you guys sway bars front and rear on both, but they do not include droop screws. Um, you guys can possibly see down up in there and see up in there. Probably can't really see it that well, but they should have at least included that to me, in my opinion, inside the, inside a package or something, but they didn't want to spend the extra time or somebody to do this. I think that would have been beneficial to have those droop screws in there um, so that you can adjust it because this is already leaning like it has droop screws in it. <laughs> but anyway, show this to you guys, show you the differences with the two. Of course, like I said, longer wheelbase on this one. I've already run this one. I'm actually going to go back to the Truggy version um, with this me. I'm just going to change the tires out and I'm going to get actually both of these running too as well. So anyway, guys, HPI is back. Um, they do have the B5. They recently announced too. Um, I probably won't be getting one of those, but I'll see some videos on YouTube with it and I'll grab my radio and like I'm driving it when they get those running. But at least wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparisons of these two buggies so you guys can see them. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments down below and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks guys for watching.